everybody. Welcome. I hope you heard that first uh, little joke. I think there's a lag is what is. And Patty's having trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? I Nothing. Said, go on. I just said there's a lag. Did something go on? So uh, <laughs> oh, Patty's having trouble. Oh, Patty, oh, Patty, go oh, on and come back. Oh. In. <laughs> what are we doing? There's a lag and a face melt. Just tell your jokes. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're all there making me go. nuts right now. Well, welcome to the first one. <laughs> <time you know. laughs> I am Brad Tassel, <laughs> and I am live just outside of Sitka, Alaska, uh, so named by a man who, after years and years, finally got his dog, Pa, to follow a command. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we are always joined by our star, Steve Goody, and our superstar, when she remembers, as she did tonight, Patty Vasquez, plus... We are joined by our long lost buddy and super pal in the pandemic, Al Ernst. Everybody, hi. Hey. I'm doing a thing. It's open. Just leave it. Just leave it. Hi, that was my uh, cabin steward telling me I'm fired. So uh, we also have another, <laughs> we have another installment of Haywood Banks songs. We tricked him into recording. Uh, yes. But first, <laughs> that's right. but first, it is Memorial Day. And we all remember those who perished in service to our country, everybody, uh, which is great. But a, a dude said to me, here's what a dude said to me. Remember, it's Memorial Day. It's about people who died, man. Okay, I said, is, <laughs> is he worried that the living heroes are going to slip into your thoughts and ruin America? I don't, what is the problem with that? I what does anybody else see <laughs> angry that we're thinking? I mean, sorry, wait, sorry, Bill, you took three to the chest in Iraq, but since you're lived, no one really cares about you today. What? What? I don't get it at all. I, I, I don't have room in my head for your little whatever going on right now. Call me in November, pal. Call me in November. Uh, I think, I think that the people who have died. <laughs> would think it's okay if we said thanks to living people too, and vice versa, right? Plus, who would be in the parade today? Yes. Yeah, who would be in the parade today? It would just be empty floats. Yeah. You know, do you, I mean, do you think your uncle who was wounded in <laughs> Vietnam would cry out, how dare you on Veterans Day because you told him about your grandpa who died in Korea? It's all about me, damn it. So anyway. Uh, we know what this day is about, and one person achievements are not mutually exclusive, and we can respect everybody. And the good news is, the good news is that all of them and their sacrifice paved the way for our freedom to say idiotic things like, it's Memorial Day. <laughs> okay. Well, that was my diatribe for the day, and uh, and it is really weird that that there's this fun lag. Here we go. Now the jokes. <laughs> hey. Uh oh, somebody's coming in. I heard a door. Okay. <laughs> it's a ghost. Maybe it's your Wi Fi. I look like a phantom. Don't listen to her. Carry on. Okay. Morgan Spurlock, who became famous after his documentary <laughs> Super Size Me, showed him gaining a ton of weight and his health plummeting. In just 30 days, after only eating McDonald's food, has died at the age of 53, everybody. Mm. Whoa, really? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yep. Yep. Oh. I know. His brother said he passed from complications of cancer. Mm. But we all know that once the Hamburglar gets a contract, he never stops till you're dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Hamburglar. <laughs> poor, poor, hum, poor Hamburglar. What? Okay. Marine biologists have figured <laughs> out why. why. <laughs> Marine biologists have figured out why the found out the mystery of why pods of orcas are ramming in into and sinking luxury yachts after another boat was capsized this week. Uh, a scientist explained it. Even a whale can sense that people who own yachts suck. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Bachelor <laughs> star Colton Underwood. Remember him? who was on three different Bachelor shows and was the first virgin competitor, finally, finally got married to the love of his life two years later, Mr. Jordan Brown, everybody. Yay. Oh. <laughs> That's right. The women he dated, the women he dated for all those seasons said, oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> 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 now Colton came out after his time on the series had ended and met the love of his life and it's a super sweet meet cute story where Underwood went into the woods and met a man and a bear ah. <laughs> oh. Oh. that's a new song right there <laughs> that's right that's right <laughs> that, that might be the best joke I've ever heard you tell that was really good <laughs> that was good, that was good. If that's the best one in four years, that's <laughs> well, I've known you longer than four years, and yeah, I stand by what I said. True. We've worked together. Before. Okay. <laughs> hey, and the man who won most likely to need a CPAP in the courtroom, Donald Trump, <laughs> <laughs> had a video posted on Truth Social, Social, where he wanted to create a unified Reich if elected in November. That was nice, wasn't it? By the oh, way, yeah. Unified oh, Reich yeah. is his son Baron's new band. <laughs> <laughs> the video, I know, the video was taken down, uh, at, and a staffer was blamed for not seeing the words "Unified Reich" in the video before posting. Uh, no mention of how the words got into the video in the first place, but we'll never know because the staffer was liquidated. I mean, okay. I mean, wow. laid off, laid off. Everybody. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense, doesn't it? All right. Hey. Oh, wow. Yeah. This was really cool. 60-year-old Alejandra Marisa Rodriguez, Rodriguez is the oldest woman to ever compete in the Miss Universe pageant. She was a contestant in Argentina, and even though she didn't win... Uh, the hospital legal advisor took home the award for best face, everybody. Uh, and also, like, <laughs> her first face. It was her first, it was her, it was her first face. Uh, first, no facelift. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, I'm saying you women, women are beautiful and leave your face alone. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying... I'm saying, women, if you want to do something to make yourself look younger, do what I did to look younger for my wife. I replaced her glasses with a weaker prescription. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. I am super hot when blurry. I think that's the <laughs> <laughs> All right. You we're going to finish up. Tonight. The what? You could get some arguments tonight. You're oh, that'll be <laughs> arguments. <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't get any because I'm blurry. I know. <laughs> An Arizona teacher has retired because she cannot handle the students who are constantly on their phones. <laughs> she announced her resignation on a text while showing her class a Tom and Jerry cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, longest serving flight attendant in America has passed at the age of 88. Uh, mm, Betty Nash uh, started in the air in 1957 and worked for 70 years, retiring in wow. 2017. Dang. Wow. She would have stopped earlier, but her last flight, she sat in the tarmac for 13 years waiting for a gate to open up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a new trend. And that is, you've heard of goat yoga. Now there's piglet yoga. Uh, one leading expert commented, oh, Baba. Uh, <laughs> participants say that the little piggies are super fun and run around and sometimes jump on and over the posers. One of the organizers said there, ex there are unexpected benefits to the little porkers. One, they promote happiness. Two, good humor. And three, the post-workout BLT brunch is amazing. <laughs> oh, bother indeed. Oh, yay, bacon. 
Okay. <laughs> President Biden. President Biden today gave a somber speech about the sacrifice of our troops and spoke touchingly about the hurt never stopping after his son Bo passed from cancer and that and the cancer was believed to have been caused by the toxic chemicals he breathed while serving in Iraq, everybody. Very somber. Mm. Uh, Trump, mm. on the other hand, said happy Memorial Day even to the human scum that don't support him. And then the orange <laughs> potato ranted about the judges he hates and the people who have wronged him and the revenge he will take on the people once elected. You know, a fitting tribute to those who have fallen, I would say. Uh, matter of fact, one expert said the troops are very proud, and that was Kim Jong-un. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, something not funny, but we've had the best joke I've ever told, so we cannot. Yeah, yes. yeah, you can only go down. You can only go down. And somebody just did a magical something. What was that? Yeah, wind chime uh, night here on the hey, virtual comedy time. show. Okay. Yes. The king, the king gets to keep his castle. Elvis might have left the building, but he gets to still own it. A company tried to foreclose on Graceland, but was thwarted, thwarted at the last minute when they got lost in the shag carpet and couldn't find their way out. <laughs> <laughs> the camera just went down for some reason. Oh. All right, I'm giving up on that one, Steve. Come in. It has been a weird squad. Clap so for Brad Tazlin, buddy. So let yeah. me ask you a question. Yay. Could you hear everything? Yeah, we yes, heard everything. Yes, we heard everything. We, you had two of your best jokes ever. We heard everything perfectly clear. And you did your best impression of a plate of mashed potatoes that I've ever seen in my life. 